Meantime, we're watching a blockade in Windsor, which is now continuing into its fourth day as anti-vaccine mandate protesters prevent Canada-bound traffic from crossing the Ambassador Bridge. We're going live right now to Windsor, where City News reporter Adrian Gobriel is standing by live for us. Uh, Adrian, you've been talking to um, drivers who are in support of the, the demonstrations, those who are not, and sort of taking it all in, the, the grander effect that this is going to have on our economy. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Melanie. As you mentioned, this blockade entering its fourth day. You know, the Ambassador Bridge, you have the blockade here at the Ambassador Bridge, which is ongoing. You know, it has provincial, national, international implications. It's caught the attention of the White House, of President Joe Biden. Now, we're currently standing live here at the heart of the blockade. Let me show you around a little bit. We're at College Road and here on Church. Behind me, you'll see the Ambassador Bridge with the lights on. And then in front of the Ambassador Bridge, you'll see large trucks, pickup trucks. Uh, there, there's, all, there's actually more pickup trucks, minivans, SUVs, and cars being part of this blockade than there actually is trucks. But these, these cars here and trucks here are blocking all Canada-bound trucks and vehicles from crossing the Ambassador Bridge. Now, it's all quiet here this morning. People are just waking up, many sleeping in their trucks, though, last night and yesterday. Hundreds of people here at this intersection, largely peaceful, saying that they're here for, you know, a long list of reasons, many of them obviously being vaccine mandates. I've been speaking with some who've been uh, here, parked here since Monday about why they're here. I've also been speaking with truckers at truck stops here in southwestern Ontario along the 401 who've been held up at the Ambassador Bridge crossing, have had to detour. Some of them were actually in support of the protests happening across the country, but now they're rethinking their position. I spent last night at the Sarnia border, about uh, 10 hours. I have to sleep there at the border. The only way that they're going to listen is by exercising our right to, to peaceful assembly and, and to make our, our voice heard. Now, as we mentioned, this blockade has national and international implications. Uh, we, we are told that uh, there was, as of yesterday, one lane of traffic being allowed through by protesters from Canada into the USA. We're now hearing this morning that potentially that may have been sealed off. Now, P Prime Minister Trudeau tweeting out late last night that this cannot go on. This is impeding the economy. It's going to be interesting today and over the next 24 hours how police handle this. The mayor here in Windsor calling this more or less a hostage taking. Windsor's chief of police saying that they need to uh, try and keep the peace, that they're talking with some of the protesters here about opening up more roads. However, late last night we can confirm that the OPP have arrived and the police, uh, Windsor police here have also asked for federal assistance from the RCMP. We're going to bring you more later on on Breakfast Television. Okay.